like to turn the presentation over to Palalu. Thank you, Alfred. Uh, <coughs> thank you for the invitation. So I can share the Indonesia experience in the government guarantee. It is uh, many type of the government guarantee. Government guarantee for the social security, government guarantee for the uh, pension fund, government guarantee for the uh, minimal equity for the certain institution. But in this moment, I will focus on the government guarantee for the infrastructure project, especially in the risk measurement. <coughs> this is the outline, uh, key characteristic. I will talking about the background, what the background of the guarantee issuance and guarantee scheme and uh, guarantee programs. In the second, uh, fundamental, fundamental risk analysis, we will uh, talk about the the internal credit rating methodology why we determine the internal credit rating to the assessment tool for the risk analysis for this for the risk measurement and also what the function of the internal credit rating uh, we will give the example internal credit rating for regulated electri electricity and for the the third uh, risk quantification i will uh, talking about the calculation of the expected loss and also the calculation in the probability of default guarantee fee budget allocation and reserve account the background uh, The background why the government issue the government guarantee is to encourage private sector involvement in infrastructure development programs and to attract the investor or creditor for credit worthiness. Uh, <coughs> Indonesia needs the big amount to build the infrastructure development, but uh, seed budget is it has limited so government want to invite the private sector to involve in the uh, infrastructure development so for the accelerate the program the government provide the government guarantee and then uh, they are sharing risk between government and the investor or creditor uh, hopefully uh, with the sharing risk, hopefully uh, can decrease the cost and at the end will decrease the tariff to the end user or to the people. I think that that's the purpose of the uh, government guarantee issuance. Basically, uh, I uh, can classify the government guarantee into the two scheme. The first uh, guarantee, a credit guarantee and investment guarantee. In Indonesia, uh, SOA in the credit guarantee, SOA or local SOA which, which the build the project, they will uh, get the funding from the creditor under the loan agreement and then uh, government will issue the guarantee letter and scope of guarantee letter is default risk and also uh, government and SOA, SOA state owned enterprise or local SOA uh, have the recourse, recourse agreement its meaning is uh, uh, all of the all of the guarantee payment will become loan to the SOE 
or to the local SOE. This meaning uh, is uh, the meaning of the recourse agreement. In the investment guarantee, in the investment guarantee, uh, the sponsor will establish the SPV, which is the build the project, and also the SPP will uh, get the funding from the creditor. And then SPV and line ministry uh, will sign the cooperation agreement or uh, power, purchase, power purchase agreement in the electricity sector. And then uh, government and the SPV will sign the guarantee agreement based on the cooperation agreement. The scope of the guarantee agreement are the default risk and termination risk caused by political risk. And also, uh, there also government has the recourse agreement uh, with the line ministry, municipality, SOE or local SOE. This is the, the, uh, the scheme of the, our guarantee. The current government guarantee program, we have the four program. One, uh, fast track program phase one. I think that this uh, government has assigned to the PLN. PLN is the SOA in electricity. Assigned to PLN to build 10,000 megawatt in power. And then, uh, government provide the full credit guarantee. I mean, full credit guarantee is government guarantee, principal, and also interest. Full credit guarantee. And government will step in if the PLN fails to serve it, its, its uh, obligation, financial obligation. And the second program is clean water availability. This is partial guarantee. Uh, government guarantee only 70% of the principal of the PDM obligation to the creditor, this partial guarantee. And the third, uh, fast track program phase two. This is uh, also government assigned to the PLN to build the 10,000 megawatt and government guarantee the viability of PLN to fulfill its obligation under the power purchase agreement with the private power producer or independent power production and also guarantee against political risk in this program. And the last program is in the PPP. This is similar with the FTP2, but the the uh, guarantee party it's 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 too many i mean the guarantee party is uh, ministry line ministry or agency local government soe or local or soe they also uh, government guarantee uh, to the to the guarantee party to fulfill the obligation under the PPP agreement. And the sector is many sector in the PPP. It can be uh, power, water, toll road, railway, bridge port, any, any other. Why uh, we determine the internal credit rating methodology to, 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 to as the assessment tools in the risk analysis, in the risk measurement, because in, in the previous methodology, we refer to credit rating agency, but in fact, not all the guaranteed party have been rated by the credit rating guarantee. So, so there is difficult, difficulty for us to assess if the guaranteed party is uh, not be not be rated by the credit rating agency. With the internal credit rating also, we can setting the threshold for acceptable risk level in providing guarantee. I mean, uh, we can set like 
maximal acceptability read rating uh, which level the read rating uh, can be accept uh, for the guarantor you we can set up uh, we in Indonesia propose the maximal acceptable rate rating proposed in the level of in the level of uh, eight one level one level is it is level is to not so uh, uh, rating rates uh, around the uh, 16 not and the third strong capability in credit analysis is necessary for ongoing credit monitoring and credit risk mitigation I mean uh, with the internal credit rating uh, we can also to monitoring at any time we can assess the credit risk probability so and also the 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 uh, reason also Indonesia also have the different sector this give uh, have different characteristic we have the regulated electricity regulated water also we have the project like the project financing and the next project uh, in the pipeline uh, we you know uh, Indonesia also the has ambitious in the in the in the infrastructure development program so we think in the next project maybe uh, they are in the uh, seaport airport toll road the and the others and also in Indonesia different kinds of uh, guarantee party they are line ministry municipality SOE and local SOE so with the internal credit credit rating we can assess the all of the uh, sector the all of the guaranteed party the function of the internal credit rating is to assess the level of credit risk to to the government will be exposed to I mean uh, with the internal crediting we can uh, calculate each each the the credit rating so we can calculate how much the reads can be exposed to the government and then uh, we can analyzing credit risk factor regulatory risk business risk operating risk financial risk and also set up the risk mitigation plan uh, with the internal credit rating also we can determine the probability of default expected loss guarantee fee and state budget allocation the the very important thing in the in the build to the internal credit rating is how we set up the scorecard standard I mean uh, fortunately I get help from the World Bank team pa, pa Fred and also pa Fred is our our consultant in the in this in this area so uh, in this uh, to the build the scan standard score standard scorecard uh, you must be to know the all of regulated regulatory framework you also must be to know the business of the sector you know the the market position the the competition so it is very very challenging to to set up the scorecard in the internal credit rating Indonesia uh, in the set of the scorecard is uh, we refer to the modis methodology on also to the uh, SNP methodology we set up the 
best writing, best writing, and uh, also we uh, set up the modifier. This the modifier is the function modifier is to pull up or pull down or neutral from the base rating. Uh, we make adjustment in the in the in the scorecard. We make adjustment uh, according to the our condition, according to our sector. Uh, Sorry. Uh, in the base rating, the you can you can you can see the the, the composition the composition of the weighting is uh, keep keep uh, keep uh, 60 60 percent and 40 percent. I mean, 60 percent for the qualitative factor and 40 percent. Uh, in the quantitative factor, but also we make the adjustment in the weighting according to the sector condition, and also we add the sub factor management in the base rating because uh, we think the management is very important to be assessed in the base rating, so we add the or uh, one factor manager in the base rating. And then after the base rating we 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 use the modifier. Uh, we put the two 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 key factor it's liquidity and financial policy. And then with the scorecard you can get the result, the result of the credit rating of the uh, Guarantee party. In calculation of the expected loss, uh, for the example, uh, expected loss at the COD period, COD is commercial operating debt period in is in the infrastructure project. For the example, internal credit rating is BA1 at Modis. The expected loss are calculated with the following formula. Its expected loss is uh, probable default times exposure at default times loss given default. Probability defaults can refer to probability of default from default study of rating agency. If you can see this uh, from the MODIS, from the MODIS uh, database, probability of default. BA1 for the next year, the probability default is 0 0.674. And exposure at default in the, in the investment guarantee it's uh, realization, realization of the equity and debt. Let's say the amount is 3.2 billion US dollar. And loss given default is 1 minus recovery rate. Recovery rate is uh, based on the, our historical data, the recovery rate, especially in the uh, water, in the water sector. The recovery, the recovery rate is 50%. So we can calculate the expected loss and we can result expected loss for the next year is uh, 10. Yeah, 10 million uh, 784 US dollar. In terms of the guarantee fee, Indonesia also in charge the one-time fee, arranging fee, front-end fee, and processing fee. This is, uh, we, we refer to uh, experience, how the administration cost, how the consultant, consultant cost if uh, I hire 
the consultant consultant to arrange the the the, the transaction and also uh, we charge the recurring fee every year it's guaranteed fee uh, the fee calculated based on the yield spread this is uh, which are without guarantee we uh, use the market value approach. Guarantee fee is 50% uh, times to spread of the with or without guarantee. 20% uh, is like discount because uh, the government is not profit entity and also they just like to like uh, same with uh, give the incentive to the private sector who's involved in the in the infrastructure development so we can uh, calculate the the fee in this in this case uh, uh, in the 12 million and 800 US dollar and in terms of budget allocation, basically budget allocation is same with expected loss. But in Indonesia, uh, we use or uh, use the 100% loss given default. It's different with the the calculation of the expected loss previous. Because uh, why we 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 use the 100 loss given default because our our uh, portfolio mostly to the two two for one party mostly to the pln our portfolio undiversified and also uh, we need a big amount of fund if the terminal termination risk is occur so we can calculate the budget allocation at probability default times EAD times LGD, we can uh, we can uh, res result the budget allocation is uh, 21.5 million US dollar. Also, Minister of Finance also uh, already established the guarantee fund reserve account. The source of the reserve account. Uh, mostly from the state budget allocation. That is uh, only for guarantee payment restricted cash. And if the unused budget allocation in the end of the year, it can be accumulated, can be accumulated in the reserve account until it's balanced, this is a certain amount. The purpose of the reserve account is to make uh, to make sure government has sufficient amount to pay to pay guarantee claim in a timely manner and to avoid the need for allocating a huge amount of fund in the state budget. I think that's all. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Paul.